Greetings, this is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I recently teamed up with Access Database Cloud to provide my students with an easy, cost-effective way to share Access Databases online with multiple users in any location. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly split your database and set it up for multiple users on your Access Database Cloud machine. Before we get started, there's a couple of prerequisites. If you have never split a database before, go watch my split database video. If you don't know what an ACCDE file, an encrypted front end is, go watch that video too. And if you don't know what Access Database Cloud is, go watch that video too. Watch these, then come on back. Okay, in the last video, I showed you how to set up a single file database using Access Database Cloud, but it's not very secure and it's not the way that I like to run a database. So let's get rid of this guy. I'm gonna delete that file there, open up the shared folder, and we'll get rid of that. Now, I'm running with the Access Runtime. That's really all you need to have on your cloud desktop. If you want to install the full version of Microsoft Office so you can do developer type stuff on here, that's fine. You'll have to use your license for Microsoft Office though. But once I show you how to get everything set up, you really don't need to have it up there. I like to have access on my local PC, of course, so I can make any changes and then just upload the change file. Since I'm going to be splitting my backend, I want to mimic the folder structure that exists up here. This database is in C colon backslash shared folder. So I'm gonna make a folder under here. All right, I'm gonna call this database and I'm just gonna put some numbers after it like that. Why? Well, because in a future video, I'm going to show you how you can hide that. And if you make it a weird file name that people can't easily guess, that's all the better. Just don't have it database because they can guess that, right? So we're going to put our database in C shared folder, database, whatever that number is. Okay. So write that number down, copy it down to your notepad. All right. Just copy it over here. So I got a copy of it on my notepad. All right. That's where our database is going to go. So Let's go locally now and set this folder up. Because when I split the database, I want the backend file to be in the same spot as it's going to be up on the cloud server. Okay, here I am in my local C drive. All right, I'm going to make a folder, new folder called shared folder. And then under here, we're going to make a new folder and call it that. I copied it to the clipboard. All right, so that's my database folder. That's where the database is going to go. Now I'm going to take my tech help database and just drop it in there. Okay. Now let's open it up. You get the security warning because this isn't a trusted location. So I'm going to hit enable content, but furthermore, let's go and add it real quick. File options, trust center, trust center settings, trusted locations, add new location, browse, go to C shared folder and pick the database folder. Now this only applies to this machine. All right, I'm gonna have a separate video to show you how to do this on the server. Okay, this is just for right now for your local PC. All right, let's split the database, database tools, move data, access database, split. Where do you wanna put it? This PC, C drive, shared folder, database folder, and that's fine. Tech help, BE, whatever you want to call it is okay. Split. All right. Database successfully split. Notice now your tables are all linked. This is why we don't want them getting into the navigation pane because now they'll see what that folder is. All right. Later on when we hide it, we don't want them to see that. All right. Next, we're going to save an encrypted version. So file, save as, make ACCDE file, hit save. That's fine there. Hit save. And we should be good to go. Let's close this bad boy down. There's all three of our files. Don't lose this one. That's your original front end ACCDB. Save that. Copy it somewhere safe. Don't lose it. You can't reverse engineer that guy. All right. But now this one's pointing to this back end folder in C shared folder, that database folder. Okay. So if I open this up, it should be linked correctly. And it is. Okay. So now we're going to copy these two files up to the cloud server. Leave this one home. That one doesn't have to go up there unless you've got full office up there and you want to be able to make development changes on your cloud server. That's okay. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the cloud server, grab those two files, click, drag, drop. 
will transfer up. Okay, it looks like they're done. I'll click clear, get rid of that. Go to your uploads folder. There they are. Select them both. One thing I like to turn on is file extensions. I notice in their uh, in their default setup of Windows, they have file extensions turned off. I think you should always have file extensions on. So show file name extension. There we go. Got to have those. Especially on developer or admin level machines. Okay, but now we're going to move them out of the uploads folder. Select them both. Cut, control X. We're going to go to the C drive, shared folder, database folder, right click and paste. And there they are. Now I'm going to leave a copy of the front end file in this folder so it's easy to move to the other users folders as well. You have to do this once, but once you get it set up, then you don't have to do it again. So we're going to copy this up to my desktop. You want a copy of that file, not a shortcut, a copy, because every user is getting their own copy of it. Okay, if I open it up here and run it, again, we get this warning message and there it is. Now this is linked to the back end that's in the shared folder. Okay. I'll go to my second account. Again, open an incognito window. Log on. Connect. Now this is a shortcut to the old file, so I'll delete that. Go to the shared folder. Database. We're going to copy this to their desktop. So they have their own individual file. Again, it's better to have individual files than to be all running off the same file in the shared folder. And also, when they have their own copy here, they won't see where the backend folder is. Because again, in a future video, we're going to hide it. Okay? And if this is a shortcut, it'll tell them where the shortcut leads to. Okay, so open that up, hit open, and there's my shared database. And it's linked to the backend file. Okay. Now you've got a properly split database running on your cloud server. Anytime you make any changes to the original, right, the ACCDB file, you'll have to make a new ACCDE and then copy that to the different user profiles. If you want a way to quickly and easily distribute updates to all of your user profiles, I have my access updater template that can do that for you. For more information, I'll put a link down below. You can check it out. It's designed to work in an office LAN so that if you got 15, 20 people on your network, you don't want to have to run around to all those computers to install updates. It will also work on the cloud PC. because It's just copying that file to wherever their front end is located. And it's a huge time saver. Okay, so again, if you want to learn more about splitting your database or making encrypted front-end files, there's two videos you can watch right there. If you want to learn how to set up the access runtime, there you go. Two videos that are still coming up that hopefully will be ready by the time you're watching this. Setting up a hidden folder, how to hide that database folder. It requires another application, but it's a fantastic solution. I want to show you how to do it. And setting up a trusted folder. Now, it's easy to do if you've got full access installed, but... Even if you only have the runtime, I'm going to show you how to do it with a little bit of editing of the Windows registry. And of course, if you want to learn more about Access Database Cloud, there's a link for you right there. You can find links to all of this stuff. You can click on down below the video window in the description. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. So that's it. There you go. That's how you set up your split database on your Access Database Cloud PC. Coming up next, we're going to learn how to hide your access folder and how to set up that trusted location.